Soon enough, the entire group is gathered. The number of shade-throwing parasols has multiplied to four as well. Plenty of cool respite for everyone. Also new, a large cloth-wrapped bundle in the center. Gather round, gather round! It's lunchtime! It's of simple wooden lunch boxes in a traditional Japanese style. Each one's been painted a different color. Naomi made bento boxes for everyone! Oh! <laughs> As a way of saying thanks for all your hard work and your support, please enjoy these box lunches courtesy of the Funplex. And, and me. I made them. An authentic Naomi brand bento. Sign me up. I reach for a box and she smacks my hand away lightly. Not no. yet. I made these special like. Everyone has a personalized lunch filled with their favorite things. Uh, Gavin, if you'd be kind enough to distribute them, names are on the lids. Sure enough, on second glance, I see the names, and even the little cartoon doodles represent each person. Wow. Does my face really look that apathetic? Okay, I'll start heading them out. Gavin, you first. Let's Good see. <laughs> Plain yogurt, celery sticks, and some rice. You know me. Boring, but and nutritional. I covered the bit outside the line on this one rather than sticking to traditional bento style. Enjoy! Sushi with tempura veggies. Oh, and a side of miso soup. I love nothing more than a traditional bento box lunch. And I love nothing more than making them. Oh, Naomi. Haha, <laughs> fish and chips, of course. With a little Union Jack on a toothpick. And you made a moopy maze out of the chips, too. It's not too stereotypical, is it? I haven't found a proper chip shop stateside, so I will take it. Nice little taste of home. Fantastic. Oh yeah, a big juicy cheeseburger and french fries. My mouth is watering just looking at it. Yum! And it's got lots of pink in it, just how you like it. Ah, so pink I can hear it moo. Oh, Queen Bee, you and I are very different on that end. Oh, this is perfect pita bread and hummus. It's a great meal that fills the belly and gives you tons of energy. And we have to keep your tank at full. A tired Teo is not a true Teo. Oh my, this is lovely. Little finger sandwiches, some tea, and even a cupcake. Thank you, Naomi dear. This is very thoughtful. Oh, thank you, Miss Francine. I got a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yes. Hey, uh, ha, I bet you consulted with Augie on this one. I do love these. Always have, always will. Actually, I, I mostly checked your Instagram. I did an analysis of your most commonly blocked food, and can't talk, busy eating. <laughs> and that leaves the one who brought us all together, Augie. For you, I made pizza bagels. <laughs> That's what I think that word sounds like. I'm kidding! It's actually similar to the bento that I gave you the first day that you started at the Funplex. A little reminder of how this all started. Thank you. Speech! Speech! What? Yeah. You should make a speech before we all dig in. I mean, you're the reason we're here. I am. Yeah, you are. I mean, you you were doing great before you showed up. Don't get me wrong, but you know, uh, but you worked harder than any of us to make the fun points a success that it is today. I was content to keep it afloat. I didn't even think we'd ever manage more than that, but you refused to be content. We shouldn't, we wouldn't be here at the beach if not for the success that you led us to, Augie. So yes, I think a speech is appropriate. Oh man. Hex, yeah, Funplex rocked. Funplex forever rocked. It really opened some doors for me. I'd still be wearing that damn black L7 jacket if not for you. The atmosphere is so much lively. I think it's TF. It's win or lose. I'm enjoying my time with Mubi thanks to having so many great people around me. By this point, I can imagine the Funplex without you, Augie. So don't even think of leaving. If you do, we will probably gather up a hunting party and drag you back. No hard feelings. Oh, and speaking of as the as the one Augie comes home to every night, I gotta say he's doing dandy compared to before. Three cheers for the fun plugs. Three cheers indeed. Go ahead, Augie. You've earned the right to a speech. I'm just the silly old lady who started it. You made this happen. I gotta choose a thing. Wow. Wow. Well, I've made I've made big speeches before, like the one at Fun Plugs Forever. Even though this feels bigger. Okay, I can't be a milk toast for this toast. It's big fields or nothing. 
thank you all. Being in here with you has helped me through hard times in my life. The Funplex 1996ing rules. It's exactly what I needed in my life. A funny thing happened on the way to the Funplex. My life was something of a mess, and the Funplex helped set me straight. Let's see here. I don't know. I mean, I don't like these choices very much, actually. Um, thank you all. Being here with you has helped me to feel hard times. The Funplex rules. It's what I needed in my life. A funny thing happened on the way to Funplex. I kind of want to go with this one just because, I mean, you know, it's supposed to be a speech, and I don't want it to be about me. I don't want the speech to be, I mean, a funny thing happened on the way to the Funplex. You know, I wasn't expecting much of anything from the Funplex. The job, the job, right? The whole idea of working in an arcade was kind of silly, but the funny thing was it stopped being a joke and it became a thing that I cared about. We work in an arcade. How cool is that? We have fun and we make sure that everybody's having fun. It's 100% fun from top to bottom. I mean, yes, there's hard work, but it doesn't feel so hard, not with all of you around. So here is to the Funplex. May it remain fun forevermore. Right on. Fun is job number one. And you put the fun in Funplex. Okay, good. On a roll. Okay, what do I say next? Oh, no. Um, uh-oh. Uh-oh. You all, you all earned this vacation. Live it to the fullest. All the sunburn and greasy food is our just desserts. I wouldn't call... That, that doesn't sound... That's like, yay, you were in crap. Flotsam Beach is just a ticket for rewarding ourselves. This beach was my family's special place. It can be ours, too. Again, I don't want it to be focusing on me right now. Um, Flotsam Beach is just a ticket for rewarding ourselves. You've all earned this vacation. but and have some fun. We've only got one day here, so if you care for some advice, live it to the fullest. Do everything that you want to do. We never know where we'll end up tomorrow. Live for this moment, this moment alone. And we'll worry about the future once we're safely back in the Funplex. If anybody has any questions about Flotsam Beach, just ask. I know this place like the back of my hand. I may take you up on that. I'm figuring there's a nice nightlife scene around here, right? Anywhere I can go out dancing, I'm game. Okay, bring it on home. I love you all. This means so much to me. Okay, let's kick some ass. Enough talking. Let the food and ink commence. Thank you. Thank you for all of this. Yeah, okay. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm going... This so, in the group setting, I'm going a lot more for the, the, the Justice one. Interesting. With all sincerity, from the bottom of my heart, thank you, all of you. I want to honestly express my gratitude, even if I can't find strong enough words to do so. So, thank you. Let's eat. You have my gratitude as well. You have no idea how much it raises my spirits working alongside you or watching you enjoy our games. Augie, thank you for this lovely day, and I agree. Let's tuck in. That tea is calling to me. This is the moment, one perfect moment with all of us together, laughing and taking and laughing and talking and eating and having the best time in the world, right before everything probably falls apart. <laughs> Maybe things will change after tonight when Iris' plan to find me romance come together. Maybe this is the high water mark. Maybe. But no matter what, I'll always have this one perfect moment. That's a nice feeling about it. Oh, okay, how long have I been streaming? I've been streaming for two hours already. Wow. Okay, that's a lot of time. All right, I've seen here. Hydration. Afternoon slides in as the gang migrates from Sandy Shores to Bustling Boardwalk. Once you've had your fill of seaweed in your trousers, it's time to take a walk down the boardwalk and indulge in any number of side activities. No need to change out of your swim gear either. Unless you're going deeper into the beach town, you can just skip back and forth between the sands and the boardwalk. This is where the real action happens. Shops, restaurants, and arcades. Soon enough, the group's footing up to try and do as, good, as much as possible. I've got time to tag along with some of them. And I'm actually doing that surprisingly well here. Now again, I don't know how that affects the dating thing or not. But... I'm going to go ahead and call this a stopping point just because I've been recording for two hours now. Blech. Okay, so save.